So what's up guys, Jonathan here, and it wouldn't be a true Apple release without a little bit of controversy, and this time it involves chips. Not those kind, rather the chips inside, enter Chipgate. So what it comes down to is your iPhone 6S or 6S Plus has one of two processors. There's a TSMC processor or a Samsung processor, which is a smaller die, runs hotter, and yields worse battery life. Now, if you're freaking out wondering how you can check this out, there's a free option in the App Store called Lyrum. So what I did was gather as many iPhone 6S's as I could, tested them out, and out of the five, two had the alleged crappy Samsung processor. And fun fact, one of them was mine. So what I wanted to do was put the two side by side and test them in a real world environment and see if there actually was a major difference between the two processors. The first thing I did was take both phones, starting with 100% battery, same screen brightness, same settings, and run a 30 minute time lapse. Once that was done and after checking the batteries, it definitely seemed like it was falling in place with this theory. The Samsung Equip 6S jumped down to 84% battery, whereas the TSMC 6S was still at 89%. What I did after that was shoot 10 minutes of 4K video straight, and here, there really wasn't a significant dip in battery. The Samsung equipped iPhone ended up at 75%, whereas the TSMC iPhone was at 80%. From there, I wanted to see if there was any performance difference between the two. So what I did was take the exact 10 minute 4K video file and export them in iMovie. The Samsung was actually about 4 seconds faster, which really isn't significant or a reason to worry. As far as the battery life after that test, the Samsung 6S was at 60% and the TSMC iPhone was at 66%. Following that, I ran Geekbench 3 in a total of 3 times for accuracy, and consistently the TSMC iPhone outperformed the Samsung in multi-core performance. Now this makes total sense if the Samsung chip is running hotter and thus throttles down, but as we saw in the iMovie test, there really wasn't a huge real-world difference. Following that, to top things off, I went ahead and ran GFX Bench Metal, and performance was exactly the same at 39.9 frames per second. So after everything was said and done, starting with 100% battery on each phone, after every test you saw, the Samsung 6S ended up with around 55% battery, and the TSMC iPhone was at 62% battery. So that means there is definitely a difference of battery life between these two chips, not so much performance, strictly battery. If you have an iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, let me know which chip you have in your phone. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and share this with a friend who may have this problem. Now, if you guys want a more detailed and extensive test at how this affects battery, my buddy Austin Evans put together an awesome one, which covers not only that, but a super awesome explanation of the two processors. 